here's the question. What's in the beef? The Better Burger War is continuing between fast food chains with most promising to reduce antibiotics in their meat. But 7 Action News reporter Amira David shows us the majority of them are not making the grade. Well, lots of restaurants have already pledged to serve antibiotic free chicken, but this new consumer report study reveals there's lots of improvement to be had when it comes to beef. For decades, antibiotics have been used on livestock and poultry to prevent disease and promote growth in crowded and unsanitary mass production facilities. Antibiotics are not working for people the way they used to. In fact, the Center for Disease Control has estimated that 23,000 people a year are dying from infections that should have been cured with antibiotics but the drugs aren't working. I think early on that they were, that the antibiotics were definitely overused, and I think the, the proof is in the pudding with the superbugs that have formed. Fast food chains are among the largest meat buyers in the country, which means they can demand certain things from their supplies, like pushing meat producers to use antibiotics responsibly. The truth is a chicken that's uh, antibiotic free, even if it's sick, is worth more than a healthy chicken it's been fed antibiotics because they command a higher price if they're antibiotic free. Out of 25 burger chains surveyed, 22 received an F grade for failing to make meaningful commitments to address antibiotic misuse in their beef supply chains. In the fast food chains, which includes companies like McDonald's, there's been huge improvement in terms of getting the antibiotics out of chicken production. But the beef industry has lagged behind. Those failing chains include Burger King, Sonic, and McDonald's, the largest purchaser of beef in the country. No burger chain got a grade in the B's or C's. Wendy's received a D- minus for making only a modest step in its sourcing of beef. But two up-and-coming chains, Shake Shack and BurgerFi, received an A grade for getting medically important antibiotics entirely out of their beef supply. What this shows is it can be done. So we hope that the other companies in the industry will learn from their example and follow suit. And that Consumer Reports survey also showed that 60% of people were more likely to eat at a restaurant if it served antibiotic-free beef. For now, I'm Amira David, 7 Action News.